Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn basics of object oriented concepts in Python. Here we will see what is classes, how to create and initialize a class, what is attributes, how to create class methods. A class will help us to logically group attributes and functions. While creating a class, what we are doing is we are defining a blueprint of an object. For example, in our networking use case, if we are going to create a class or blueprint of a Cisco device, its attributes are going to be all the unique properties which are going to define the device. In this example, I will use IP address, username and password as the attributes. And its methods are going to be the actions we are going to perform on the device. In this example, it is going to be execute a show command or parse a specific output from the device. Methods are nothing but functions associated to class. Earlier we have seen how to define a function and the definition of methods also are going to be same. And using classes, we can pass common attributes to multiple functions which are associated to the class. For example, once we define the attributes like IP address, username and password, we don't have to manually pass all these values to each function. We can use the class methods. Now we will see how to create a class. The command syntax for creating a class is class space the class name. There is some naming conventions in Python for creating the class. We can search for class names in this documentation. Here we can see class names should normally use cap words convention. And we will search for camel case. And here it says capitalized words or cap words or camel case. So the first word should start with capital letter. In our case, I will call this Cisco device. So it is capital C and capital D. And once we give the class name to set the attributes, first we need to use init method the same like how we create a function we need to use init method this is a built-in method available in python and by default pycharm is adding self here self is just a variable name even you can give any other name here but it is python's convention to use self while initializing it and here we can pass all the arguments we need to pass while initializing an object so we will use ip username and password below that we can set the attributes while defining the attributes so we are going to define this to this particular class object so we can give self dot after that we can give any value even i can give ip1 equal to ip if you are defining in this way for example here i will create an instance of this particular class i will call this r1 equal to cisco device then i'll give ip 192.168.0.1 then username admin password also admin and if I try printing type of r1 so this is an instance of Cisco device class and if I try printing dir of it So this will give us all the methods and attributes. So here we can see IP1 as the attribute name. So either we can give same name or any other name. Same way we will set all the other attributes as well. Self dot username equal to the argument we are going to pass here. Self dot 
password equal to password so now we have three attributes and without passing any argument also we can define some attributes so i will set self dot port equal to i'll hard code a port number 22 now if you try running this so we should be able to see all these attributes now here if i try printing r1 dot port this will give 22 same like this i can even create another instance r2 and i'll give ip 0.2 but either we can give named arguments or positional arguments it is same like how we pass into functions so we can give it like ip equal to then username equal to and password so like this also you can create an instance in the next tutorial we'll see how to create methods inside a class